Hello everybody, it is Saturday. Uh, today I'm going to be doing just some meal prepping so that I can have enough food to get me through till when I leave. Tuesday is my last full day but I'm leaving really early on Wednesday so I don't need to worry about that. But I've got a couple of uh, portions of beef that I took out of the freezer. I took them out at different times because originally I was just going to cook later and then I was like no I'll batch cook and then I can clear out the kitchen. But I left one of the sets out a little bit too long because I fell asleep and I didn't mean to. <laughs> Don't know if it's still okay to use. I'm gonna have to check it. Um, I put it in the fridge as soon as I realized, but it is one of those things. So I'm gonna make pasta bake first because I've also got some cheese that needs using and that can go in the fridge. And then if the other beef is okay, I might make a small portion of um, maybe beef stew because I've got potatoes and carrots in the fridge. And then that will be all the food I need until I leave. So I can just clear out, apart from like coffee and I've got some stuff in the fridge that I can leave like eggs and things. Um, then all the cupboards and stuff I can just clear, which is quite exciting. So once I've got all that sorted, um, I can really get a moving on clearing out the apartment, which is pretty cool. Um, my school still haven't paid me. <laughs> Tomorrow, Sunday is the first day of the work week. So we'll see if it comes through then. If it doesn't, I'm showing up because I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this shit. But the um, problem I'm also having is I want to get a new suitcase and I was going to get it in the UK but I'm running out of space in mine and it's cheaper to get it here so it makes no sense to wait. I was just going to switch it out when I got home but the place I want to go for the suitcase is right by the school so um, it makes no sense to get a taxi up to the school and then take a taxi back to be able to go to this place if I'm going to go anyway. So them delaying on me going to sign my paperwork is also delaying me on getting the suitcase which is sort of slowing down everything. But we'll see how it goes and uh, fingers crossed they get in touch with me tomorrow. Sorry G Cubs, I did actually mean to come back to you when I filmed the last clip. It's the next day now. Um, I cooked the stuff, I started emptying out the kitchen. I've got to clean its den, I've got to just start doing the, um, the major clear out of the other rooms because my last four days in, in Saudi is day after tomorrow. Uh, with that in mind, I have just sent a very strongly worded email to my school telling them how utterly ridiculous they are for still having me wait on my paperwork and my final pay, given that my last full day in Saudi is the day after tomorrow. The words utterly ridiculous may have featured in the email, so we're going to see how the rest of today goes. Oh, oh, teacups, we're about five minutes after my last segment was filmed. Five minutes, just long enough for me to go and get my first cup of coffee of the day, so this is going well. And I have received an email from my HR. So, the email, good day to you. Please see below our reply to your email dated August 3rd with a screenshot, <laughs> with a screenshot of the answer they gave me saying, your email has now been reinstated. We'll give you some more info later. Uh, their exact email said, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't want to misrepresent them. Uh, good day. Kind of note your school email has been re reactivated and we'll update you uh, for the reference and payment. Bear in mind, I was not updated. I replied to that email fairly politely but firmly at that point to say, hey, I'm running out of later. I need a timeline. Given that I'm leaving next week, this was last week at this point, it's not unreasonable for me to expect a timeline. I cannot believe, I can believe, but I cannot believe they had the fucking nerve, the brass balls on them, to insert a screenshot of that email and completely ignore the reply I sent them. Are you serious? This is them trying to, as previously stated, me, so that they can cover themselves because when I sent them this email, because I was annoyed, I cc'd in the head of HR because I want an answer now. Fortunately, I am perfectly capable of speaking bitch in fluent professional. So I have replied to them. They have now confirmed that they sent my payment to the accounting department and they'll follow up with it today because I haven't received it yet and that my reference is ready. So once they've confirmed with them, they'll confirm with me so I can come in and get it. So. I replied to that because that's all I wanted. Last week, I just wanted them to say, this is where, instead of being like, okay, well, we'll tell you a little bit later. Just tell me exactly what's happening because I have a third piece of information I'm still waiting on that they conveniently have not mentioned. But I sent them an email back because I was just like, screenshot. Oh, we want to play this game? Okay, screenshots. 
takes me a lot to get angry, you guys, but oh, we are there. We are there and hello there. So I've sent them a reply back saying, yes, I did receive that reply to your email. And as you can see from my screenshot below, I replied this to you, which was then ignored. I cannot come in to sign my paperwork until my money has been received because one of the things I'm signing is confirmation that I've received my money. And as I previously emailed to you, I am also waiting on a professional development certificate, which you have not mentioned here. Can I assume that will also be ready for me to pick up? Oh, let's drink some coffee. We're going to have fun today. And if it weren't entirely clear that I am fuming right now, I've changed my sign off from kind regards to regards, which is basically British for you're dead to me. I feel like I might have to order coffee. I can't live at like this all the time. It's exhausting. You can't do it. It's bad for you. I've got to calm down a little bit. Oh shit, is that on? Morning. <laughs> My phone has this thing where sometimes it'll let me kind of look at it and check the settings and do the things and sometimes a yellow circle will just come up and be like, ready? I'm like, you're ready, I'm not ready, stop. So it's now Monday, I'm pretty sure. Monday, yes. I should really keep better track of the days considering I'm gonna be uh, leaving soon. I can't currently find my lapel mic, so you're gonna just have to deal with it. And, oh, and a plane's coming in, so good morning. I'm as shocked as anyone to announce that I did actually sleep last night. Um, I'm starting to think maybe how anxious I was about the uh, the school just not doing the shit they needed to do was maybe impacting me a bit more than I thought. Maybe that was why my sleep schedule was such trash recently. So unnecessary. But I can't remember exactly what I filled you in on yesterday, so <laughs> if I'm repeating this, I have to go back and edit, I suppose. So I had my little email exchange with the school and I was pretty much done with it. I was sitting there Googling how to report to the Labour Ministry and like other rage induced things. Um, I didn't actually do it, so <laughs> cheers, but <laughs> I, was, I was very much, very much done. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't need to go that far. They seem to have received the message that I'm not messing around and I'm pretty much used up all my patience with them. And um, I received a notification on my phone about like, five o'clock that I had gotten my money because I get a text message every time it goes into the bank. So I wanted to transfer it there and then, but um, I'm going to the school today. I emailed them, they said, we'll email you and you can come get your papers. And I'm like, it's Monday. Tomorrow is my last full day. I'm coming at 11 o'clock to get my papers. <laughs> you know? More politely than I had earlier than the day, I sent them a note and said, Hey, to confirm I've received the payment now, I'll come in at 11 tomorrow and I'll sign any paperwork left. So they should have it ready for me. I don't know if they'll play a few power games or if they'll just finally give up and be like, all right, we'll let her leave. On the way back, there's a store near there where I need to get a new suitcase because my little one isn't quite big enough. I'm doing okay on the weight of it, but um, I just don't have enough space at the minute. So I'm gonna swap it in for a big, because it was a mid-sized one and I think it will be cheaper to do here than it will at home, so that's that. Uh, so that means today I'll transfer over anything I had already packed in the smaller suitcase to the new one, and I'll pack anything left. And then um, the second half of today and tomorrow will mainly just be cleaning things out and uh, getting together anything I'm using tomorrow, just getting it together, because I fly in the wee hours of the morning, so I'm probably not gonna be sleeping tomorrow, which means I can kind of get ready mid to late afternoon and um, pack everything up then because I'll be leaving the house around midnight. And then, my friends, we will be done. So this mall works as basically an enormous surplus store, so you get what you get, but it's just literally, it's, it's the size of a small mall, but it's it's, three, I was about to say layers, three floors tall. Apparently I need more stuff in my body, I'm not doing well here. Uh, but it's really, really cheap. So I'm just going to see, I'm in the uh, bag section right now. I'm gonna see what luggage they have. They usually have a good selection for really cheap. Also the kind of place you get like imposter perfume and stuff like that, <laughs> just <laughs> all the fake crap. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. 
call me crazy, but I've got a feeling this might not be legit. <laughs> this one might work for me. Quite big, it's very, very light, which is what I was looking for. And it's on four wheels, which is my choice. I might see if they've got a brighter color so it's easier to spot though. These are the choices. I'm leaning towards that one just because it's brighter to see. And um, they're both, they're both fairly light. Oh, that one might be very slightly lighter. I like that one better, but this one will be easier to travel with, I think. Okay, we are home. We are back. We are successful. The echo in here is worse than usual because I've just gotten rid of a few furniture pieces. So my driver has a friend that's coming in or like a friend of a friend, whatever. But she's moving into an apartment and she doesn't have many home things and I've been trying to get rid of my home things because when they come in to reset the apartments for the new people they get rid of everything like I've seen them tear plants out of the garden and just throw things away because they have to clear the space and uh, I sold a couple of things but it's not very busy here and demand wasn't high so I was just like it's a shame to waste them because like I've said before there aren't really donation places so I've just gone and given him, like, I had some living plants in here. I had one of the big two-layer IKEA shoe racks. I had a spare suitcase that was a bit too small. I had some bowls. I had, you know, just some kitchen things. So um, I'm really glad they're going to a good home now, you know, because it just means someone gets use of it. Well, that's my lunch. I am starving.